Hello everyone, I am Naval Yamil. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Data Master. In this video, we are going to see the cluster access control in Databricks. So once you start the cluster, and if you want to set up a permissions a user or a group on that particular cluster, so there can be three types of access controls you can give. So first is can attach to. So once you give a permission called can attach to, he or she can just attach a notebook and he can view the Spark UI and the cluster matrix and the driver logs. If you give a permission can restart. So with these two, he can he or she can start, restart and terminate the cluster. If you give a permission called manage all, so this is the highest privilege. He can do all the things here. You can see he can edit the cluster, he can attach a library, he can resize the cluster and even he can change the permissions. Let me show you how you can give an access control to the cluster. So here I have one account here. Let me open this account. Yeah. <coughs> So here my cluster is up and running here. So once you can click on that cluster, you get a more options here. Just click on the permissions. And once you click on the permissions, you can select the users or you can start writing a specific user or you can select a group. So suppose I am one of the users. So once you click on it, you can now give a perm access control or can give a permission like to attach or to restart or to manage. So let me give you manage permission. You can just click on this add and then you click on save. So once you save, now I get a permission to manage the entire cluster. Means I'm, I'll be able to start, restart, terminate. I would be able to edit the size of the cluster, change the permissions also. So this was about how to give an access control on your cluster. Thank you for watching this video guys. If you like it, please subscribe, my, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching again. See you in the next video.